Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province is operating an internet podcast titled Kyungi Hohang Show that covers diverse provincial policy related topics. Recently, this podcast presented an open talk session with audience members. It also featured popular guests and behind the scenes stories as well as audience participation events. Launched this past February, the Kyungi Hohang Show, meaning Prosperity Show, is the province's official podcast. It is led by popular hosts, the deputy director of Kyungi's news media team, and a lawyer. This podcast is gaining popularity with the number of subscribers having surpassed 8,000 and increasing. Held at the Kyungi Arts Center on Saturday, August 24th, this podcast meeting with audience members started with a performance by a rap musician, followed by the comical blindfolded appearance of a lawyer, one of the show's hosts. Also featured were congratulatory videos by popular entertainers as well as by Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung. 제 열혈팬을 자처하시는 우리 박변, 네, 이 박정우 변호사님. The first part of the show included the presentation of five news items and other popular episodes selected by the show's hosts, as well as behind-the-scenes stories. While the second part included communication with audience members through counseling and games. 경기도에서 가장 또 활성화되어 있는 이 정책 중에 하나입니다. 많은 분들이 이 지역 앞에 그렇죠. Participating former guests made the show even more entertaining. The Kyungi Hohang Show, which airs every Friday and Saturday, is available via the podcast platform Patban. Kyungi Province recently secured budgetary support from the Kyungi Provincial Assembly for its indoor school gymnasium construction projects which will begin next year at approximately 170 schools. At the third policy council meeting with the provincial administration, the Kyungi Provincial Assembly gave its support after agreeing to a cost-sharing ratio among related authorities as adjusted from the original proposal made by the assembly during the first meeting in February. <laughs> The indoor school gymnasium construction project aims to enable students to engage in physical activities despite atmospheric conditions that may limit such activities outdoors. 70% of indoor gymnasium construction costs will be borne by the Kyungi Provincial Office of Education, while the provincial and relevant local governments will bear 15% each. Out of 417 schools without indoor gymnasiums in the province, related construction can now begin at 272 schools next year. The Kyungi Provincial Assembly spokesperson confirmed the provision of support that would enable all primary schools, middle schools and high schools in the province to have indoor gymnasiums within two years. This year, Kyungi Province began environment restoration work in mountain valleys and along rivers via crackdowns on illegal businesses occupying such locations, especially during the summer. Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Young recently visited restaurant demolition sites in mountain valleys to view the work in progress. This mountain valley is crowded with summer holiday seekers. However, every usable space along the stream is occupied by long tables installed by restaurants that charge exorbitantly for their use, as well as for compulsory food orders. Kyungi Province is eradicating such illegal business activities at holiday locations. Governor Lee visited the demolition sites of illegal facilities at Yangju City's popular Mountain Valley summer destinations. Most business owners at these sites agreed to close their businesses and leave the valleys. Uh, 
되었고 3개 점포가 완료가 되었고 나머지 40 점포는 약 에, 한 60, 60% 내지 70% 철수를 하였고 그 나머지는 이달 말일 기준으로 해서 완료할 예정에 있습니다. Some business owners appealed for the deferment of the strict provincial measures. 너무 좀 가혹하다. 뭐 매년 개고장은 날라왔지만 그게 이제 관례적으로 늘 해오던 일이기 때문에 뭐 올해도 그러다 말겠지라고 다들 생각을 했어요. According to current laws, the illegal occupation of mountain streams is punishable by imprisonment of up to two years or a fine of up to 20 million Korean won. Other business owners suggested seeking alternative ways in which to attract tourists outside valleys. During a senior official's general meeting on August 12th, Governor Lee ordered the strict application of measures so as to ensure that no illegal businesses occupy valleys and streams next summer. 또 그렇게 하는 것이 공정한 세상이라고 하는 가치 부합한다고 생각합니다. 우리 상인 여러분들께서 지금의 이 어려움을 잘 견뎌 주시고 또 도의 정책에 또 시의 정책에 협조해 주시면 저희하고 가능한 방법들을 좀 찾아서 합리적으로 이 문제를 개선하는 방향으로 같이 나아갈 수 있을 거라고 생각됩니다. Gyeonggi Province is determined to recover clean mountain valleys by next year through strict control and restoration work. Gyeonggi Province is operating history tours of national independence movement sites in China and Russia for middle school students so as to enable them to learn about the lives of independence fighters firsthand. GTV followed a tour group that visited such sites in China. In Hongyu Park in Shanghai, where independence fighter Yun Bong-gil attacked ranking Japanese officials in 1932, students listen to a description of the event and view the personal items left by Yun. Students are most touched by the photo of Yun holding a pistol and a grenade beside a national flag taken three days before the attack. Students then moved to Jia Jingxi to visit a place where the officials of the Korean provisional government, including Kim Gu, stayed hidden. Kim and his family had to move continuously from one hideout to another. This middle school student history tour program was launched by Gyeonggi Province to commemorate the centennial of the establishment of the Korean Provisional Government in Shanghai. During the first phase of the program, more than 1,000 students, divided into 33 teams, will experience a four-day tour of important independence movement sites in China and Russia. On August 16th, the 338th Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly Extraordinary Session opened for a 16-day run, during which more than 50 items will be reviewed. This session will also include administrative inquiries. The items to be reviewed include ordinance drafts as well as revised supplementary budget required to respond to Japanese trade restrictions. This revised supplementary budget will be used primarily to minimize the damage experienced by affected enterprises. Gyeonggi 
Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly Chairperson Song Han Jun offered assurances that this revised supplementary budget will be reviewed with special care. The ordinance drafts include those for small business protection and support, as well as for the improvement of travel convenience for individuals with limited mobility. The first general meeting of the session saw five-minute speeches by assembly members. 일본의 전범 기업도 독일의 전범 기업처럼 우리나라 국민에게 진심 어린 사과와 배상을 하고 경기도의 학생들에게 국제사회와 국제사회의 신뢰와 존경을 받는 모범 기업의 사례로 회자되기를 간절히 소망합니다. 지역 보육 대상자들을 보육할 수 있는 어린이집을 더 많이 지원해 주십시오. 맞벌이 증가, 다문화 문화의 다문화 가족의 증가는 우리 시대의 현실이고 그리고 경계선 Inquiries by assembly members regarding administrative matters took place on August 27th and 28th. When asked about Japanese restrictions on exports to Korea by Kyunggi Provincial Assembly members during administrative inquiries on August 27th, Kyunggi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung answered that the province is prepared to review formal cooperation from a long-term perspective while avoiding tourism-related projects. The second general meeting of the 338th Kyunggi Provincial Assembly Extraordinary Session began with questions regarding administrative matters. An assembly member asked Governor Lee about his views on suspending exchange projects with Japanese autonomies that are no longer beneficial. <laughs> Governor Lee answered that, in the public's mind, Japan is a nation that is both near and distant, and that we should deal with such matters carefully from a long-term perspective. Governor Lee added that tourism-related projects are better avoided while formal projects need to be considered from a long-term perspective and that decisions will be made depending on related purposes and contents. Another assembly member voiced support for the Kyunggi regional currency deeming it a successful new economic system and proposed its expansion to cooperatives. Stating that the regional currency system needs continuous improvement, Governor Lee affirmed that adjustments and corrections will be made regarding cooperatives shortly. The general meeting was followed by five-minute speeches by assembly members. 일본에서 쓰레기를 수입해서 경기도민의 보금자리가 지워지고 있는 현재 상황에 대해 유해 물질이 들어가 있지 않은 친환경 시멘트 제조 및 사용을 적극적으로 권장하는 등할수 있는 모든 방안을 강구하여 해결하시길 축구드립니다. 삼기 신도시는 희망이 되어야 합니다. 본인이 있고 싶을 때까지 머물 수 있는 삼터가 있고 일터와 삼터가 일치하여 저녁이 있는 삶을 누릴 수 있으며 청소는 누구라도 행복한 창의 교육의 수혜자가 되고 지속 가능한 에너지 자립이 이루어져 The 338th Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly Extraordinary Session continued on August 28th with the third general meeting. After comprehensive training exercises and test flights, Gyeonggi Province's doctor helicopter the first 24-hour medical helicopter in Korea began emergency patient transportation operations on August 31st for all Kyunggi regions. In the quad of the Kyunggi Provincial Government Complex, the refurbished Dr. Helicopter lands in a whirl of wind. Featuring diverse medical equipment as well as emergency rescue equipment, this helicopter is more than just a patient transporter. It is also an emergency operation room. From August 31st, 
patients anywhere in Gyeonggi province can be reached by the doctor helicopter within one hour, day or night. Before the doctor helicopter began operation, it and the related personnel underwent comprehensive training exercises. With the registration number plate attached, the doctor helicopter took off for its first assignment. Kyungi province allocated six emergency rescuers to this helicopter and will continue to expand its landing locations in the province. Dr. Helicopter marks a significant turning point not only in saving lives within a critical time frame, but also in the development of airborne medical services. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.